guys, it's Mina. Welcome back to another beautiful day in the garden. Today we are going to be playing on one of these edge canvases again. This one is an 18 by 18, which is very cool. I'm excited about this size. So that's cool. So these are from Jerry's Artorama. I have taped the back and put my giant push pins in. A note about taping the back. So I used to put the tape like partially on the canvas part, but it's a lot harder to get it off like that. <laughs> So HOA suggested that I just put it on the wood that's exposed. So that's what I've been doing and it comes off very, very easy. The edge canvases from Jerry's Artorama. Okay, colors. Uh, a little bit different palette today. This one is Golden's Turquoise Thalo. Delicious, dark, deep, creamy, amazing turquoise. Absolutely love this color. And next to that I have Golden's Light Turquoise. So this one is turquoise thalo, this one is light turquoise. And to this I have also added a tiny bit of Decor Americana Decor Satin Enamels in the pure white. Okay, so that's the turquoise and the light turquoise. I also have Arteza's Pearl Turquoise. So I really like the combination, the contrast between these three. It's really, really cool. So Arteza's Light Turquoise or just turquoise. <laughs> I'm confusing myself. I did that for months. Okay, and now this one is a little bit different. This is not DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics 24 karat gold. This one is DecoArt Americana Decor Matte Metallics, and this one is just Oro, just gold. Let me put that there. So this is not the 24 karat gold, because I can't find it. <laughs> this is just regular gold. <laughs> okay, and matte metallics. Okay. And last but not least, we have our DecoArt Americana Decor Satin Enamels in pure white with some Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in white. Okay, so we did uh, Ring of Fire. <laughs> Thank you all so much for your lovely comments and your well wishes for our anniversary. We had a great, great day. It was awesome. And uh, you guys are just, you're so much fun. Like we did in Ring of Fire, I want to use the 5-ounce Dixie Cups and do a wing pour or two, but I want to do it a little cleaner than we did last time. I don't want to pour it three times. I just want to pour it once. So my plan is to layer a few cups, and I'm going to pour a little bit of dark turquoise in the center. I'm calling it dark turquoise just so you know which one I'm talking about. It's actually just turquoise thalo. So I'm going to pour some dark turquoise in the center, then we're going to do four wing pours going outward. So hopefully this will be kind of neat. Let's go ahead. Last time I layered each cup individually and I realized it took a lot longer. So we're just going to do four of them at the same time. Four. That one looks kind of dirty. I'm just going to use that one now. Okay. So here we go. Okay. I'm going to start with some dark toy turquoise in the bottom of each. So I'm going to layer them all the same. So these are five ounce Dixie cups. So that's probably like maybe about an ounce, half an ounce, three quarters of an ounce. Okay. Then let's put some of the, actually, let's go with the Arteza turquoise next. Okay, now we're going to come in with some of the gold. So this is not the 24 karat, this is just gold gold. And it's a little bit more yellow than the 24 karat. The 24 karat is a little brighter. So this is a little bit more of a deli mustardy sort of color. Okay, now we're going to put some of that light turquoise on top of that. Just a small amount. This is very similar to Liquitex Basics Bright Aqua Green. Okay, now I'm going to put some white in there. Okay, and we're going to come back in with another layer of that darker turquoise on top. Okay, that's cool. Okay, 
Okay. So, I want to put a little bit of this in the center. Sort of in a ring. Okay. So that's the middle right there. So we're going to have one going this way, one this way, one this way, and one this way. Hopefully, if it works the way I intend it to. So, are you ready, darling? I am indeed. Okay, here we go. That's not quite exactly what I liked. I didn't, I'm not actually crazy about the Arteza turquoise in there, interestingly enough. But we're going to see how it goes. Okay. So we're going to move that one down a little bit. And now I'm going to turn this this way. And we're going to do this one going that way. turquoise over here. Okay. This may not work. <laughs> okay. All right. Ready? slide down on. See, that looks pretty now. Okay. It's so weird how it looks different from my perspective than from where you guys are. <laughs> Right. Push that one down too. 
Okay, so there is a lot of paint on here, but I do want to put a ring of something around the outside of it. So I'm just going to take some of my white with the Satin Enamels Artist Loft Mix, and I'm going to put some water in this. Thin that out. And we're going to stir this up. I spill most of the water out of it. That's fine. I put a lot of water in there. That's why. That's pretty thin. this around that as our flow extender. Some of that corners. Okay. Yeah, the white's really thin now. But that's okay. That's its job is to slide and move things around and just let things move. Okay, there's plenty of paint on here. This is just insurance, really. So somebody was asking me, they sent me a lovely email asking if you had to use the satin enamel as a floor extender. No, absolutely not. You can use the cheapest paint you have, you can use your drips. Um, if I'm using something with satin enamel as the flow extender, it's probably just because I already have it mixed up. So I wouldn't use anything super expensive intentionally as the flow extender because it's gonna get poured off. Okay, let's torch this real fast. Tilt this out and see how it goes. Let's see which one do I like the most. I like this part. Let's go that way first. So find the way to your paint. Stick it down to that corner. Come back to the center. And see the white. The thin white is getting tilted off here rather than a lump of something right here. Dried bits of paint sometimes. Okay. Take this down to the center and down to the other corner. Okay. I don't love it. <laughs> Interestingly, the Arteza turquoise is throwing it off for me. I think what I want to do is grab another cup and maybe do 
one more just going straight across. Actually, I might go one this way and one this way. Let's do that. That'd be interesting. Okay. I love those five ounce sticky cups. They're awesome. And see, this is the reason that I didn't mix up white, that I didn't pour water in this big cup. Is so now this is still the right consistency to use with everything else. Whereas if I, that's why I used this little one, I just poured some in here and put water in here so I could thin this out and that stays the right consistency. Okay. So let's do this again. We're going to do two. And I think I'm going to leave out the Arteza turquoise this time. So we're going to start with some Golden's Dark Turquoise. I'm going to put the gold in now, actually. And then we're going to come with the bright turquoise. The light, turquoise light, light turquoise, whatever it's called. <laughs> I'll put the right name on the screen for you, though. Don't worry. Okay. Now a little bit of white. Some more of the dark turquoise. So these are not very full. These are only about, that's only about two and a half ounces of paint there. I could probably do another layer. Let's do another layer. I'm gonna put a little bit of gold. I think there's enough in here for one more little bit in each cup. Okay. Alright. Let's try that. I think what I want to do... I'm just going to pour one over here, and then I'm going to pour one over here, and then we're going to tilt them out. Here we go. That's pretty cool. That one turned out really nice. Much better without that Arteza Pearl Turquoise in there. That's interesting because I love that color. Can you huh? pour another one? Yeah, right here. Can you stand over on this side so that you see it coming out of the cup? You see it from the side because it's, it's okay. easier to I'll see. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. I'm gonna, can you see the cute little cell on the top of the cup? Ready? Yeah. Here we go. Slow it down at the end. I love watching that, like, sheets of paint just come out. It's so cool. Stop there. Okay. It's so weird that I'm like, I don't want to come back over here. <laughs> I'm just going to move this over for a second and clean up some of this white because it's bothering me. And it is how I scrape my table. That's exactly what I do. <laughs> I'm going to pour it in one of these little cups. Okay. That's better. There's one.
Okay. So this is actually pretty cool now. I like this one a lot. I like this one a lot. Let's tilt them out and see what happens. We're going to go down that way first. And it's slightly more complicated with two of them on there because you got to watch both of them. Take that down off the edge. Teardrop shape. Off that corner. We're going to go down off that bottom right edge. Mm -hmm. Hi. If you come over here, you're going to get dripped on. <laughs> okay, so that's kind of interesting. I don't know if I love it, though. It's so weird how that turquoise didn't work out. some of this big white blob right there. So options at this point, I could continue to use the colors that I have, which are all softer and don't have that dark, or I could tilt it to try to make it more what I like, which is I think what I'm going to do. I think we're going to just take this this way and I'm going to tilt it down. I think we're going to lose some of that bottom ring, but it's going to open up this side more and give us a better shape, a better composition. So it was too symmetrical. It was too half and half on each side. I didn't like it. It's weird. <laughs> just a little bit and bring some of that back. Okay, that's better. There's very pretty lines on here. I didn't want to distort the lines too much, but I'm glad that we've got that curve in there now. I'm going to take a little bit more. Increase that curve over here that we've got going on because it's cool. Is it stretching out and opening up and it's going to start to sell in there? I like that better. It's actually very cool. Back down just a touch. Okay, I'm going to wipe my hands off and we'll torch it. So, observations. 
HOA pointed out that there wasn't a lot of contrast, and I see what he's talking about in here. It does look a bit muddy, and that, unfortunately, is the gold. Probably was not as thick as the turquoise, the deep turquoise, and that's what blended everything. Because it is metallic. I see shimmer and shine on there, and when it dries, it's probably going to be really cool, but right now it does look muddy. But we do see some streaks of the gold by itself, which is good. I like that there's some of the darker turquoise on that edge and going through here. This is really cool, actually. This is really pretty. I like this part, and I like how it's selling up in there. I like that curve that we've got. That little one is cool. So, yeah, this is pretty good. It's good. Maybe we'll see how this one dries. Anyways. I will show you this one when it's dry. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful day. Okay, so this is a few days later and it's totally dry now. This one turned out so cool. Such a pretty little relaxing, calming piece. Turquoise always does that to me though. It's just very, very mellow. <laughs> I love these colors though, that dark turquoise, that Golden's turquoise thalo, and then the light one, contrasting the one that looks kind of like bright aqua green. And you see some satin enamels in there. There's just like one line, the pure white, and then you see the gold. Really cool. I haven't put any additional varnish on this one. Just this is how the Liquitex gloss medium dries. Very pretty. You still see the metallics blinging a little bit but there's no glare on it, <laughs> which is what I really like the most. So, very cool stuff. This one is an 18 by 18. So this is neat. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I hope you're getting excited about our surprise Sundays coming up this weekend. That's Sunday, August 16th. And I will probably be releasing more information about that to you this afternoon. So, I'm very excited. It's going to be really cool. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I will see you guys on Sunday. Bye-bye.